what did I tell you? What did I tell y'all, bro? I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew it was coming. But seeing that trailer in the state that it was in, basically just saying, like, you wanted Jet Set Radio? You're going to get Jet Set Radio. I mean, <sighs> I tear up a little bit. It was even more of a surprise for me because I stumbled upon that release completely by accident. I ain't give a fuck about no game wars. That should be boring as hell. All that talking they be doing. I didn't even realize that it was going on that day. But I was out running errands. And I had time to kill. So I went on my phone on YouTube. And the third video on my homepage was a surprise I was not ready for, bro. This video is kind of all over the place. I'm just surprised by all the good news for gamers. Now that my thoughts are a bit more together, I want to talk about the big reveal. I don't really be on Twitter, so I haven't seen much thoughts on JSR, but while it does look nice and vibrant and stuff, I could tell a lot of the fans probably aren't feeling the look of it. Because I'm with y'all. I mean, the design doesn't hit me hard, but I can't say it's ugly either. It does have that stock video game engine look though, and it takes away a good amount of the charm of the series. After all, that's what it's mostly known for besides the music. And it moved from the Y2K fashion with the baggy ass pants and crazy accessories, which I will miss, I'm not even gonna lie. But I mean, if there's anything I'm most worried about though, it's keeping the core pieces of the game that made it so lovable. Like everything about the rollerblading. That wavy flow, the way you can't turn that sharp, the spins that start and end slow because of gravity or whatever, the characters really tweaking the grabs and holding them a little bit, the boost stash, rhythm needed to keep your combo going. I do like Future's graffiti mechanic, but I don't really care how they go about that. But we're gonna, obviously, that's gonna be a big part of the game. We got combos still, but I would guess they're going to be adding a lot more to movement this time around. I just hope they still keep all the tricks from future. Fakie stance is a must. Bombers doesn't have it, so please don't lose that second. That's essential. Also, upon further inspection, hey, look at my man DJK. Hey, that ready your money hitting because he finally did something with that yee ass haircut. He got upgrades out the ass. I mean, look at that setup from humble beginnings to this. This man living large. It makes me wonder what everybody else is going to look like, too. And even if they're going to keep all the characters from the last games, there's like 30 characters plus more assuming there's going to be new gangs to fight. Really, as long as they keep what both games had for the most part, but just add on and expand it, I think it's hard to top what Future had going, but they're the creators of it. They would know what's best, so I trust them. Either way, I'm glad the franchise lives on, really. Y'all notice how out of all the new games they showed, Crazy Taxi seem to have the most gameplay shown? That's probably going to be one of the first games that they come out with, and it looks just as chaotic and fun as the first one. These are really the only two games I care about. The rest of those was before my time as a gamer, but did you... <laughs> We're also getting closer to that new Budokai Tenkaichi, and it's looking gorgeous. I don't know if y'all can see that mix of Fighters and DBZ Kakarot's look that they going for, and those games are beautiful on their own. I don't know how ready I am for it to come out though, because I was always asked at the game, and I still am to this day. It was one of the first games I downloaded for emulation. I tried to work my way up there, but that game is a lot more complex than I remember it being. This nigga Raditz was beating the brakes off me, bro. He made me pack that shit up expeditiously. I ain't never returned to that game since. I mean, we got so much to look forward to. Not even just that, we got Tekken 8. There's two new Grand Blue games that we still get in. We got the Persona remake. Like, are you kidding me? All these games in the same time frame? You got room to spare? Of course I didn't forget GTA 6. Doing numbers I can't even wish I could reach one day. I mean, GTA is the game you have to own as a gamer. Whether you love the series or not, you just have to own it. I do gotta admit though, and I can't be the only one like this, but I don't think I've ever finished a GTA game story. Actually, no, no, no. I think I'll, the only one I beat was Vice City Stories, but I mean, who really buys it for the story anyway? It's just a reason for the crime you do in the game, and I don't need a reason, bitch. I'm on 100 every second of the game. I did take a good amount of time in the GTA Online too, and the fun to be had in that game is just endless, bro. And we get to be back in full, uh, uh, we get to be back in Vice City too, so I can't even imagine the wild shit that's gonna go on and the things you'll be able to do. Weirdly enough, too, the trailer came with mad controversy. What is there to be controversial of? Do you see who we get to play as now? You see who we get to play with? At this point, every YouTuber talked about this controversy, so I'm not even going to repeat how stupid this drama is, as if social media itself doesn't subject you to shit way wilder than anything they can even put in GTA. One thing I don't understand though is how strong people still feel about women in games. They will argue so hard against it like it is not that serious, but what are you trying to prove? I know a few people in real life like this. I mean, at least they'll respect your stance on it, but they will make it their life mission to never assume another gender in any form whatsoever. I mean, maybe... Maybe the way they see it, playing as a girl means you gotta deal with guy characters romantically, and they don't like that. I can see that. But I mean, lesbos are a thing. 
And with the games that y'all play, there's barely any romance to begin with. So I really don't fully understand. Then again, I'm on the other end. So who am I to really talk? Listen, bro. The amount of heat that we're getting is crazy. And I think we, not too long ago, we was in a period of, oh, gaming is so boring nowadays. All oh, these new games just don't hold up shit. <laughs> Best believe they will now. Even the stuff we got this year. Tears of the Kingdom, Street Fighter VI, uh, Dead Space, Resi 4, Hi-Fi Rush. Shit, I'm even playing Boulder's Gate right now. That's usually the RPG I would avoid. But the quality is just, it just screams game of the year, man. They deserve it. This type of quality should be standard this is something we have to see more often in the future especially for jsr you cannot fuck that up bro listen say y'all sitting on diamonds right now if y'all manage to mess up this release y'all will not be forgiven january 6th remember that that's all i'm gonna say i mean this is just a quickie for y'all there's really nothing else to say man i mean i'm just stoked by what i'm seeing right now we're in for some good ass we're in for a good ass year of gaming and yeah i mean it is kind of hard to not notice the pattern of remakes and remasters taking over the scene, but honestly, as long as it's a game that's unique and offer gameplay that you really won't get from other games, I think it's a good thing. Especially when they're serious that, you know, they deserve to stay alive, so. That's all for me for today, but y'all already know though. Come on, bro, give it to me. I want to see them comments, bro. Tell me what you're excited for besides GTA and Jess Air Radio. Other than that, I'm going to get out of here, so y'all stay up, and I'll see y'all later.